And what about the financing? You mentioned that briefly. What who are you going to for? Who would you go to for an existing property? Like for again, for the listeners out there who are looking to get involved, you're doing the development. You're doing you know, brand new houses, which yeah. is a more advanced strategy in the vacation rental space. But if you're just going to go out and buy one of these things, it's not your primary residence. What are you? Who are you going to? What what what, what people? What banks will will actually say, hey, yeah, fund this. Yeah, absolutely. So um, Host Financial um, is the the one we use for development, but they started and they they originally started with just doing uh, normal vacation rentals. Um, They don't have even, you can go to them and show them a home that you're looking to purchase that doesn't have a rental history and they'll still lend on it because they'll they'll do their own underwriting on it. Um, So yeah, Host Financial. Another really cool strategy um, is a lot of people who don't live in the market that they're investing in will do just do a second, just do a second home loan, um, like a vacation home loan. Um, and they'll just, they'll just delegate the management to a, a local uh, vacation rental management company. That's a very popular um, thing that I, a lot of investors that I talk to, I sort of push them towards um, that area. Cause a lot of, I, I mean, you can just Google that um, just like a, a bank that does a second home loan. Um, and you can get some pretty good terms if you're, if you're looking to like, get some pretty uh, high debt. Like I've seen like lenders do 85 to 90% de- uh, like on, wow. on that. So you're only putting 10% down on a cabin. The hard part is just finding it. It's just finding a home that you're not overpaying for. So 